guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and share my videos and today we are crocheting this beautiful cover up it's a skirt it's it's mesh detail and this is how it looks and i went ahead and made a matching bra for it i'm hoping you'll enjoy this tutorial and this is the close-up and the back of the top so to crochet this cut you'll need your hips measurements and that's all you need and then you will start working on this cut starting from the west going downwards and we will finish up with the waistline the ribbing at the waistline and the drawstring okay so all you need is your hips measurements and the length of the skirt that you want i'm using winter king yarn this is a hundred percent acrylic yarn and it is medium weight yarn to crochet we are using a 4.0 mm hook you'll need a pair of scissors and a tape measure for this project they said you're working from the waist going downwards take your hips measurements and we are going to start by making a slip knot this is how i make a slip knot and then we are chaining as long as your hips measurement is okay and please note as you chain stretch your work to your hips measurements okay so take your hips measurements and chain as you stretch until the chains reach your hips measurements I'm done with my chains and we want to join the beginning to the end please make sure your work is straight before joining and this is how you straighten your work and then we will join the beginning to the end using a slip stitch okay so I'm just making sure my work is straight and then I will join the beginning to the end using a slip stitch and then we will start with our second row. So my work is straight and this is how I join the two together using a slip stitch. Once you're done with your slip stitch, you will chain three. one two three yarn over and we're beginning with a row of double crochets all round okay and this is how we work with double crochets and we're going in each stitch that we made and we are doing a row of double crochets do a row of double crochets and i'll meet you once you're done with this first round i am done and we're joining using a slip stitch on top of chain three go at the top of chain three here and we're joining using a slip stitch Once you're done joining, you chain three, yarn over, and now we are starting to work on our pattern. Go in the same stitch where you placed the chain three and do a double crochet like that. Then chain two, yarn over, do a third double crochet in the same, same stitch. Okay. In this stitch, do a third double crochet like that and then yarn over and do a fourth double crochet so it is chain three one double crochet chain two then two double crochets and remember this cut is made using shell stitches and that is our first shell stitch to create the second shell stitch chain three yarn over skip the next four stitches one two three four and on the fifth stitch 
is where we will put our first double crochet. And then yarn over, go in the same stitch and put a second double crochet like that. And then chain two, yarn over, go in the same same stitch, put a third double crochet like that and a fourth double crochet so that is how we make this shell stitches once you have your two double crochets chain two and two double crochets this is what you have and then you chain three yarn over skip four stitches one two three four and on the fifth stitch this is where we are putting another double crochet yarn over put a second double crochet chain two yarn over put a third double crochet and a fourth double crochet okay so this is how we create this first row of our work and we are going to work like this and i will meet you at the end of the row remember we are chaining three yarn over skip the first four stitches and of on the fifth stitch it's where we put our first double crochet like that put your first double crochet like that and a second double crochet remember it is in the same stitch and then you chain two one two yarn over put a third double crochet in the same stitch and a fourth double crochet and that is the pattern so work, work like that and i'll meet you at the end of the row and your work should look like this okay i'm at the end of the row i'm just finishing up on the last stitch here so i'm skipping four on the fifth stitch you'll come and join on top of chain three like that using a slip stitch okay remember we're joining on top of chain three using a slip stitch like that that is how your work should look and that is row one of our skirt to start the next row go in the next stitch and do a second slip stitch it's a bit hard like that and we're now in this first space here and once you reach this first space that is when you'll start your next row so you chain three yarn over go in that space and do a double crochet so chain three here counts as a double crochet okay so now you have two chain three and one double crochet so you'll just chain two yarn over go in that space again do a double crochet and another double crochet so in this case you have four stitches you have chain three and three double crochets okay and then you'll chain three yarn over now we are working in these spaces okay in these spaces is where we are working now go in there put the first double crochet yarn over the second double crochet chain two put a third double crochet and the fourth double crochet remember we are working in the spaces where we are chaining two okay where we are putting the two chains is where we are working in so you chain three skip this first big space then you go in this small space that one that's where we are working and do a double crochet do a second double crochet then you chain two do a third double crochet 
and a fourth double crochet okay then you chain three one two three yarn over skip this chain three come in this small space put a double crochet a second double crochet chain two a third double crochet and a fourth double crochet so that is the pattern and you're going to work like that until you come to the end and please remember at the end you're joining using a slip stitch chain three then you continue with the pattern i will meet you at the end of your work i'm at the end of my work and this is how my work looks you should have something like this and to join you just um go on top you chain three first then go on top of chain three using a slip stitch like that first slip stitch then the second slip stitch remember we are doing slip stitches until you get in that first space okay so you just do two slip stitches once you get to this space here you now chain three okay i hope this is clear we are now in the space and now we want to to chain three and i hope you remember chain three always counts as a stitch on this first row only okay so I've chain three then do the first double crochet now you have two then you chain two go in with a double crochet and another double crochet so that's how we make this first shell stitch of the row then you chain three one two three yarn over skip that chain three space and come into this small space that's where we are putting our shell stitches please remember we are putting shell stitches on top of shell stitches and chain three on top of chain three okay so do two double crochets chain two and then you do two double crochets that's how we create these shell stitches and then you chain three then you create a shell stitch which is two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so that is the pattern and we're going to work like that until where you want your skirt to stop for me i wanted um mid-length skirt that's why i went all out all the way to my leg area so do that and i'll meet you once you're done i am done with my skirt and this is how it looks as i said i wanted a long skirt and now we are working on the um, ribbing at the west this is how my skirt looks so let's start working with the ribbing at the waist okay find the middle of your skirt where you want the middle part to be and for the ribbing i'm using a different kind of yarn because i want it to match with my brass and i'm just trying to find the middle and then reattach your yarn this is how you reattach your yarn once you reattach your yarn like that you will chain three and we're just going in with a row of front post and back post to start we are starting with the front post go in front of that double crochet like that and do a front post then go in the second stitch with the back post like that third stitch with the front post and we are alternating between front post and back post all round okay this is the first row of the ribbing and it is made using front post and back post i will meet you at the end of this first row of front post and back posts
is row one of the ribbing and it looks like this to finish up on row one let me just complete this last front post here like that and to join to finish up you join on top of chain three remember when you are starting with chain three so finish up on the last front post by joining on top of chain three using a slip stitch okay make sure you are on top of chain three go in there and join using a slip stitch sometimes it's a bit hard <laughs> but make sure you are at the top of chain three yeah like that and join using a slip stitch to start a new row chain three yarn over and now it's much easier where there was a front post we just go in front like that and do a front post and where there was a back post we just go at the back of it like that and do a back post okay we are alternating between front posts and back posts and i went ahead and did a total of five rows of front post and back post please remember to join at the end using a slip stitch okay so i'll meet you once you have your rows done I'm at the end of row two and please remember I said we are joining on top of chain three using a slip stitch like that and then you chain three to begin a new row you chain three yarn over where there was a front post you go in and put a front post where there was a back post you put a back post so that is how we create this beautiful waist ribbing and I will meet you once you are done with your work. So this is how my skirt turned out to be. You can see the ribbing at the waist is so, so pretty and the skirt in general. And I went ahead and did a beautiful bra top ready to go to the beach. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, like and share. I will meet you in my next video. Goodbye. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. I love you guys so so much